Back in 2020, when the um, now famous coronavirus pandemic uh, started, um, a lot of people tried to cope with it in their own particular way. Uh, some people didn't cope with it at all. I was having a pretty bad time mentally. Uh, when I got through it, too much overthinking, as usual. Some people just reveled in the misery of it all, um, bestowing that misery onto other people whether they wanted it or not. Thanks, guys. Uh, but others um, just went in full-on defensive mode, which is the, you know one of the five stages of grief. Complete refusal to accept anything that they were being told. Um, and then went round the other side and just started making up the most outlandish outlandish crap uh, possible with regards to the vaccine, um, most of the virus, the vaccine, and how it was transmitted. But I've found somebody on the video channel which can best be described as YouTube's cousin that nobody talks about, Odyssey. Um, thank you again to Creaky for letting me know about that one. Um, and I found somebody called Kalen. I think it's Caitlin, I may be wrong now, I do apologise, um, who seems to believe or be labouring under this misapprehension that the because of a video he saw somewhere else, which is how this always works, that having the COVID vaccine turns you into somebody who is uh, Bluetooth capable. Right. Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of these. Yes, so in my venturing on other, not to the darkest way, but a rather, you know, mucky corner of the internet, um, I found this uh, video, interesting little video, it's only about five or six minutes long, about this chap, I believe his name, I think his name is Caden. I really should have watched it again before I started, started doing this. I've had to re-record this because the sound was wrong, again. Um, but yeah, he's um, seen somewhere that some people have been mucking around with the settings on their phone and they reckon they figured out that after you've had a covid vaccine you are then given off a mac address um you know the identifying code string of code that um is allocated to every bluetooth device before it tells you its name uh we'll go into that a little bit further but, but i'm just gonna hand it all over to Kalen to see what he's got to say for himself hey everyone Callan here. So I have a friend who's been having some health issues for a while. Sure, a friend. Basically as a result of having spent a lot of time in a hospital beside a dying loved one who was assumed vaxxed and all the other people in the hospital are probably vaxxed. You know, shedding is a thing. When he talks about shedding, I think he just means viral shedding. It's how the coronavirus um, transmitted itself to other people. It basically broke apart, sort of and then you exhaled it or you passed it on to somebody by other means, um, hence all the PPE. Um, but if you had, if you got into your gastrointestinal system as well, I've looked into a little bit this and found out something I'd rather wish I hadn't, but your number twos were infectious as well. Sorry. And it does have a negative effect even if you didn't get vaccinated. If you're dumb enough to spend a lot of time around these people, you're going to get that too, okay? If I think I'm hearing him correctly, is he trying to insinuate that the vaccine is contagious as well? That's bloody amazing. They should all be like that. So anyways, we're trying to figure out what's going on and solve some problems. And one of the steps is kind of diagnosing things, figuring out what exactly is happening. And... In order to determine how bad it is, we need to see if he's giving off a Bluetooth address, okay? So one of the things, and I warned you guys about this almost a year before the COVID vaccine was even available to anyone, that it was basically a tracking system which was meant to harm you and also implement you into a technocratic slave system. Wow. You know, for a moment there, I was actually going to chide myself for making an assumption based solely on somebody's physical appearance, but... I'm happy to say I think I was completely on the nose on this one. Okay, and so now we do see that that, that is happening. People who, it's mostly people who got the vaccine. Not all people who got the vaccine, but a large percentage are giving off a Bluetooth signal, which you can actually detect with your phone, okay? And so if you have an Android phone, I think, I don't remember what version, I think you have to have, I think at least 10 or above, something like that. I have 13, it definitely works on 12. Well, this should be interesting. I'm vaccinated up to the eyeballs. I've got two shots and a booster, and my phone is currently running Android 14. You can detect whether or not you have a Bluetooth address. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to do that. 
Okay, but first I want to just describe how this works. It's called a mesh network. Apple iPhones, if you have an iPhone, you should not be using Apple iPhones at all. And this mesh network isn't the only reason. But basically a mesh network is your phone is constantly checking using the Bluetooth signals to see if there's any other Bluetooth signals around them and then sending information to them. This is true. Mesh networks have been around since the early 70s. There was a radio mesh network set up in Hawaii to enable better communications between the islands. Bluetooth obviously uses the same kind of technology, only much more up to date and modern, um, so that their devices can communicate with each other. Because if they didn't, what's the point? Okay, so if you have an Apple phone that doesn't even have any internet connection and you walk near other Apple phones, they will detect and they will talk and they can tell the other phones things about you and those phones which have internet connection can then send that information off, okay? Oh boy. You do know that in every single phone there are privacy settings that you can adjust to your own personal preferences. Android and Apple phones cannot suck information out of the ether and transmit them to whoever, whoever they want without your permission. This is what's known in the UK especially as GDPR. In fact, in about 2010, Facebook enabled a feature on the website where you're able to download every single piece of information they had on you. Um, I actually tried this. I th think it turned out, it took about a week for them to get it all ready because it's all done remotely. And I downloaded it, I think it was about a gig and a half. Um, and I was actually astounded at the amount of information that Facebook had on me, to be honest. Um, no, I wasn't. That's a complete lie. I knew exactly what... Facebook had on me because it was the all the, the only thing it had was what I told it. The privacy settings are there that you can make these this information public, and if you don't want Facebook to know something about yourself, don't bloody tell it. I actually found this quite handy because in 2011 I had a, I had a catastrophic hard drive crash and I lost pretty much everything. However, the data set that I was allowed to download from Facebook contained a lot of the photos I'd lost. So, thanks Facebook. So. Not only are you being stupid and harming yourself by having one of these things, you're also harming other people, right? You are becoming part of that informant grid, okay? So this Bluetooth signal that is in your body that your body is giving off makes you part of that mesh network, okay? And it's not just specific to Apple. I, I don't know exactly, I haven't really looked into Android, like fully Googled stock Android phones and how they work with that. They might have a mesh network. I assume the Googled phones do not, though I don't actually know that for sure. So how are you qualified in any way to comment on this? I'm reminded of the, I think it was a Senate congressional hearings that they invited Mark Zuckerberg to, who was looking more like an android than ever, where he was asked a bunch of questions by whole senators and congressmen, congresswomen, um, who always, nearly all of them, started their sentence or their question with this phrase, I don't know that much about the internet. Well, if you don't know that much about the internet, why are you making laws about it? And if you don't know much about the subject you're talking about, why should we listen to you at all? It might be just in the, the hardware itself in a way that we can't actually detect it, okay? But this is about making sure that you personally and the people around you do not are not giving off this signal, okay? So first of all, because you don't want to be part of this network because not only you're giving away information, but they can control different aspects of your bi biology through this, and this is going to ramp up as time goes on. But because you're basically blasting yourself with 2.4 gigahertz, like a Wi-Fi signal, right? 2.4 is what Bluetooth works on, which has negative effects on the body. They tell you it doesn't have negative effects, but it does have negative effects. It has a lot of negative effects, okay? So a lot of the problems that we're seeing out there that people are having these days are the same symptoms that you get from high exposure to Wi-Fi signals or smart meters and things like that. I'm gonna ask this question to my good friend ChatGPT. I've actually had quite a few interesting conversations with this thing lately, um, not least about flat earthers and demonstrable realists, um, which I may go over in a future video. And I asked it about the 2.4 gigahertz and the effect it has on the human body. And the response, which I can post here, you can look it up yourself, it's quite easy to find. Um, I shall paraphrase it, I've actually got it written here. Uh, Bluetooth operates it within the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band, which is also used by other wireless technologies such as Wi Fi, cordless phones, and microwave ovens. So your microwave oven is trying to kill you. Concerns have been raised about the potential health effects of exposure to electromagnetic fields or EMFs. By the way, if you see an advert on Facebook for an 
EMF shielding mobile phone holder or something like that, just ignore it. It's a scam. And they know it's a scam. They're just looking for gullible people to sell. They're just looking for gullible people to sell crap to. However, the scientific consensus, as of my last update, not, not, not mine, chat GPTs, is that Bluetooth te technology, when used within regulatory limits, does not pose significant health risks to humans. WHO, FDA have all said there's no link whatsoever between the 2.4 gigahertz frequency range and the physical human body. That said, some studies have suggested potential biological effects from exposure to EMFs, particularly at high intensities. However, these effects have not been consistently replicated across studies and the evidence remains inconclusive. This is what's known as peer review. If you manage to replicate it, then you've got something to go on. If it ha never happens again, no matter how many times you try to come up with the same result, it was a one-off, it was a fluke, and it can't be taken as fact. Also, if what you're saying is true, we should all be dropping like flies. The 2.4 gigahertz frequency is rattling around us at all times going through our bodies 24 hours a day. How do you think mobile phone networks even work? Okay, so first step to figure out if you have one. So, you need to have an Android phone for this. This is the only way I know how to do it. And you're basically gonna go into your phone settings. You're gonna turn on developer options, which is going to Unlock a secret menu. Wait, if it's a secret setting, how are we able to change it? In the Android settings called developer options, you're going to go into developer options and you're going to scroll down to the section on Bluetooth and you're going to turn on to tell it to show you Bluetooth names that basically Mac addresses that don't have names. Normally when you turn on Bluetooth and you're looking for a Bluetooth device, it's going to show you other devices around you, but the only devices that actually have a name saying what they are, are like, oh, it's the TV in the kitchen or, or whatever. It's the, ear the earbuds that are blasting my brain, right? That kind of stuff. But there's other Bluetooth signals all around you which don't have a name. They just have a Mac address. And this is like with the Apple AirTags and stuff like that. And this is what the humans are on too. So you can make your phone show you these things. So I'm going to go into my phone and I'm going to show you how to turn that on. Okay, we're going to go into the settings. Scroll down to the bottom. We're going to go to about phone. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to click on build number seven times until this comes up. Okay, so now we are in developer options. Depending on which version of Android it is, you know, things will appear in different places, but it's basically the same. For me, it's in the system menu now. So I'm going to go into the system menu. I'm going to scroll down and you see developer options is here. We're going to go in developer options. And we're going to scroll down to where it says show Bluetooth devices without names. Okay, so it's just going to show it. It's going to show it even if it is only a MAC address. So we're going to turn that on. Yep, done all that. Oh, by the way, Mucking around in developer options really isn't uh, recommended. It's why it's behind a, a little bit of a wall there. It's easy to get to. I think you tap the about phone option at the bottom of settings and then it pops up the next time you start settings. But there's not a lot in there that one, you have any use for, and two, you probably know what it does anyway. This particular setting we're mucking around with at the moment is pretty benign. It's literally just another display. But if you don't know what you're doing and you're mucking around the developer options and pressing buttons you don't know what they do, there's a very good chance, slim but possible, same as being killed by a moose, um, that you can brick your phone. And if you've done that by mucking around in the settings you shouldn't be mucking around in, your warranty will be invalidated. So you've got no comeback. So you've got no reason to go in there. I use my phone for YouTube. I, I think I actually made a phone call in the other day, which is amazing. I haven't done that before. Not recently, anyway. So, yes, this is a little bit interesting. I'll give him his credit. Um, but it's not factual. And in some cases, dangerous. So We're going to go back. And we're going to go up to connected devices. We're going to click pair new device. And we're going to wait and see if anything shows up. Okay, so I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. There's no devices showing up. So I know that I am not emitting a Bluetooth signal. So next, next what you're going to see, I'm, when I go back, I'm going to film myself next to basically the houses of a bunch of people and we're going to see a bunch of different things. Okay, so now I am back in a neighborhood surrounded by houses and we're going to try parent device again. Okay, we can see that there are a lot already. So the GR-ACs 
those are names so and the BTT RFM those are actual devices that are meant that you're meant to know about so any device will pick those up but the 61469B 59467 these are all unnamed MAC addresses and just it doesn't necessarily mean that these are human sources but this is what a human source looks like there are a few reasons that some devices only give off MAC addresses instead of a name. Um, you're probably using a class 2 Bluetooth device, meaning the range is only about 10 meters or 33 feet. And if you're in heavily built up areas, I'm guessing you're not going into somebody's home and just scanning around while they look at you quizzically. I'm going to guess that whatever you're picking up at the bottom of your phone there is probably somebody's TV or even their ring doorbell. And you're picking them up on your phone through a brick wall or several sheets of glass and the reason you're getting a MAC address instead of an actual object's name is because the settings have been set that way if Bob and Alice have changed their TV to say it's Bob and Alice's TV it's a cutesy little thing but they don't want anybody else outside the house he might be creeping around and pointing a bloody mobile phone through their window to know what their names are in short the names of other people's devices is none of your bloody business so what you need to do in order to check yourself is to make sure you don't have any devices on you except your phone and you know turn off the put it in airplane mode turn off the wi-fi all that type of stuff walk out someplace far away from other people and all tech all technology you don't have to get like way way out there you know i'm probably 200 yards from people right now and where you saw it show that there was no signal you know that's where i am right now okay okay let's give it a go then Cut to outside broadcast. Okay, I am back out in the village where the kids are to do this little experiment. So, according to Mr. Beardy Face, whose name has completely escaped me for the minute, um, I should be personally transmitting a MAC address because, as I said, I've had two COVID shots and one booster, um, as evidenced by the card I showed, showed earlier. And so I should be transmitting a MAC address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone off this gimbal because this is all Bluetooth. Uh, I have nobody around me. I might have somebody sleeping on a bench over there. Bless them. Actually, no, sorry. There's a guy playing football in the background. I don't know if you can see him. And he's just left his stuff on the bench. So there's nobody around. Um, right, let's get off the gimbal. Turn this gimbal off. And see how we get on. Okay, so I have gone into the settings, as has been suggested. So if I go into developer options, now this is going to be tricky because one, I'm not wearing the white glasses. And secondly, it's quite far down. So show Bluetooth devices without names. That's the settings as in recommended. Now, as I said before, I am fully vaxxed up. Two, injured, two um, COVID shots and a booster, which I'm very happy to have received. Bluetooth. And it's automatically scanning, as you can see. And as you can see, the only thing that's actually in the area is an LG WebOS TV. It's an OLED model, I believe. In fact, it looks like this. So that is definitely not me transmitting a Mac device or a Mac address, because I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, I'm not a TV. I'm going to have another quick rescan just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Scanny, scanny, scanny. I've been here a couple of weeks actually. This village is quite nice. Is there anything available? No devices found. So the TV that was here is no longer with us. How very, very curious. So, as expected, I am not transmitting a MAC address. I am not a Bluetooth device, <coughs> which is kind of upsetting really, because imagine what you could do if you were. But anyway, so now this is just yet another example of somebody who knows nothing about the science, nothing about the chemistry, nothing about the biology, and it would seem very little about technology, making bonkers assumptions based on a, a lie, essentially. Um, I think it was some guys in the Philippines. I'll look it up when I get back to the house. So let's go back to the studio. So anyways, turn that on, and if it's empty, then you're fine. Okay, so now if you want to check other people, you know, maybe you actually want to tell them what's going on. Maybe you just want to, you know, get them in a situation where you can detect just to see for yourself. But it's important they don't have any devices on them and that they are out in a remote location with you, okay? Really? And how do you think that's going to go? Huh? Fancy coming for a walk with me? Uh, sure. Where are we going? 
Oh, just to a secluded spot in the middle of nowhere. No, 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 no need to bring your phone. <laughs> Why? Well, we can't have anything that's going to track your location. How can we? <laughs> Bob? Bob? I just want to check you're not a smart TV, Bob. And so, I mean, the purest thing would be to say, you're going to go out to a sp specific location, you're going to tell this person to get rid of all their devices and then come to you, okay? So you're going to turn on the detector, you're going to look at it and make sure it says nothing, and then you're going to tell them to come close to you from far away, and they're going to come close to you, and when if you see that signal turn on, they have a Bluetooth, okay? They're, they're emitting Bluetooth. My God, I was joking, but his is actually worse and are part of the mesh network and are basically blasting their biology with harmful radiation. And you, they're blasting you with harmful radiation and everyone around them too. And I think we're done with this guy. Um, the problem with this other website, Odyssey, is that it's allowing absolutely anybody and everybody to post the most unfiltered, unchecked garbage and people like this, I mean, the video didn't have many views and uh, Callan himself hasn't got that many uh, videos. But people are going to watch this and they're going to take it seriously. And as I've said before, all it stems from is an innate distrust in government services and, you know, original gov government offices. Um, and that leads to really quite bad situations. I've spoken about COVID before and the vaccine and it was a whole time was had by all. Um, I knew two people who actually died because of the disease um, and they were both lovely people and to see their deaths belittled like this like they're all part of some conspiracy kind of sickens the blood a little doesn't it of course as in most conspiracy theories this comes from somebody else making a video about exactly the same subject you get him repeated 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 somebody picks up and they want to make their own video about it um, there's absolutely no basis in fact to this whatsoever um, you do not have um, Bluetooth transmitter inside your body. For one thing, how are they going to get in there? Well, the smallest RFID transmitter that is currently capable to be manufactured uh, is that a millimetre across, and the in, the needle that injects the COVID vaccine, I think, is 0.5 to 0.8 millimetres across, so it even fit. If you inject something into your body that's not supposed to be there, your body's going to try and fight it. Also, if you're injecting what is essentially a solid little object into your bloodstream, once that gets to your heart, you're going to die. But as you can probably guess by the tone of this video and most videos, these people are trying to be educators. They're trying to show the world this truth that they alone have discovered, even though thousands of people have said it before. So you are more than welcome to sleep soundly in your beds knowing that you aren't a smart TV. Although that would be a lot of fun, I think. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. That is it for that one. Hopefully I'll be back doing another one. This is the last video before my oft-repeated nose um, operation, which is happening on Thursday. So I may do something about it. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be recovering for, if I'm going to be in any fit state whatsoever to make any kind of video about it. Uh, but we'll see how I get on. Again, thanks for watching this. Uh, please like and subscribe. Comment in below if you want to have a chat about it as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.